Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Sega. Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike, the company that believes every kid has the right to play. Ghost Rider is brought to you by public television viewers like you, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, the Pew Charitable Trust, and the U.S. Department of Education. That was so crisp. Hey, what? Hi, I'm Blaze Bredahl. And I'm Sheldon Trapseed. We play Jamal Jenkins. And Lenny Frazier on Ghost Rider. <laughs> but you already knew that. So, let us tell you something you don't know. Like what you'll be seeing this season on Ghost Rider. I can't believe it's already our three-piece season. Hey, three seasons, three-piece. I like it. I also really like our special guest. She's the co-host of the Today Show. Also a major Ghost Rider fan. She's Katie Kirk, and she'll be here later to get a sneak preview at our newest, coolest Ghost Rider adventure. And don't forget about our incredibly funny, never seen before Ghost Rider blooper reel with all the silliest moments that no one is supposed to see. <laughs> Plus, Mailer Mania, where we will answer actual questions that you wrote and asked us. And you'll get to meet the newest member of the team. Her name is Melissa Gonzalez, and she was picked over hundreds of other actresses to play the part of Gabby. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Where do we start? Well, we usually start like this. We don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Mysterious. He wants to be friends with us. He can hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. <laughs> he takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. <laughs> Blaze, what is all this stuff? We're supposed to be showing highlights from our new Fantastic Three Pete season, and this place is a mess. Sheldon, these are actual fan letters that fans have sent in from around the world. We've gotten 500,000. Really? Cool. But, uh, we don't exactly have time to answer all these questions. Actually, that Ghost Rider might be able to help. Yeah, great idea. <laughs> Ghost Rider can pick out a few questions while we take a look at a sneak preview from our new mystery. Right, including the first ever TV appearance by the Rashad family. That's Ahmad from the NBA, Felicia Rashad from the Cosby Show, and their daughter, Felia. Yeah, she was so cool, especially for her first time on TV. Oh, that's Kitty Kirk. I'll let her in while you start the video. Sure. Hit it. Hey, team, what's the buzz? Whoa, Ghost Rider's royal. Hanging out in England, where a new mystery falls right at Jamal's feet. Sophie Madison's true identity revealed. Why is Rita reap her revenge? You can see that? And that's not all. We'd better figure out the rest of this fast, or someone's gonna get kidnapped. Come on, crack the case with Ghost Rider. Special guests, exclusive interviews, and never seen before bloopers. All coming up on the Ghost Rider 3 Peat Special. Welcome to the set of Ghost Shatter, Katie. Well, thanks so much for having me over. You know, that clip was great, and it's so exciting to see episodes of Ghost Rider before anyone else gets to see them. And the trip to London looks wonderful. I'm dying to hear all about it. Do you want to see more about it first? Let's do it. Yeah. One quid? Yeah, that, that's 25 feet. Come on, mate. You don't have to answer everything I ask. It's 8 o'clock on Friday the 6th. The recession is over. This is so strict. Friends. I can think of no more fitting sounds. Woke up early this morning. So many sights to see. New place there. New place there. Got a new friend with me. On a holiday, I get away. Running. 
London, 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 no one can play on a holiday, a getaway. Running round in London, no one can play. Running round the town, oh oh, running round the town. Running round the town, oh oh, running round the town. Buckingham Palace to Kensington Roll a double deck of bus to the underground Can't wait to tell my friends about the sights and sounds, yeah! On a holiday, a getaway Running round in London, no one can play On a holiday Get away, running round in London, no one can play. Mind the gap, this is not, it's quite beyond me. <laughs> yes, Terry. Running round the town. No, Craig! Running round the town. Oh, oh, running round the town. Running round the town. Oh, oh, running round the town. A getaway, running round in London, no one can play on a holiday. A getaway, running round in London, no one can play. Wow, a video postcard from London. I heard you turned 16 while you were there. What was it like? Oh, it was great. We went out to dinner at Planet Hollywood. We saw Phantom of the Opera. I just hung out in London. It has a great nightlife. Spectacular time. Did you get to see Big Ben and the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, things like that? Yeah, definitely. We saw all the, uh, you know, touristy things and everything. Did but uh, what I really appreciated was just basically seeing the day-to-day uh, -day life. You know, taking the buses and uh, walking on Oxford Street and things like that. You know, I've always wanted to spend some time in London. So far, I've only been to the airport there. So maybe sometime I'll get to go. That sounds so terrific. Well, Definitely. speaking of London, the first letter that Ghost Rider picked out for us is from Emma in London. You're kidding. People actually watch Ghost Rider in London? All over the world. In Australia, Botswana, Barbados, Trinidad, Saudi Arabia, New Zealand. Wow. Oh you guys are international <laughs> celebrities, and I thought you were only famous in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Emma writes, sometimes I don't know when you're on. The schedule drives me crazy. Well, Emma, you can do what our family does when we can't find Ghost Rider. First, we look in the TV listings in the newspaper, or we call our local PBS station a and ask them when the new Ghost Rider stories begin. Great answer. Our next question comes from John on Internet. You know, where people talk to each other on computers. Really? Cool. cool. <laughs> John asks, what is a bodega? Well, Blaze, since your home here on Ghost Rider is right up from the bodega, I think you should answer that question. <laughs> okay. Spanish-speaking people in the Caribbean and in North America use the word bodega for store. In other places around the world, bodega means food warehouse. The usual word for store in Spanish is tienda. And a supermarket is a supermercado. Right. So since Alex and Gabby are Latino, they call their family store by a Spanish name, bodega. Angela in Fowler, Michigan asks, is it hard to learn your lines? And John from Winnipeg, Manitoba asks, can I get a screen test? I really want to be on Ghost Rider. We have answers to both these questions. Coming up, you'll see just how hard it is to remember lines in our Ghost Rider blooper reel. <laughs> and you'll get to see what an actual screen test is like when Katie goes behind the scenes with the new Gabby, Melissa Gonzalez. But first, can't we see more of the newest Ghost Rider mystery? Sure. This next clip proves that Ghost Rider is a world traveler carrying messages across the Atlantic. Hey, Ghost Rider. Rally L? Did you get another blank postcard from London today? No, the mail hasn't even come yet. Jamal sends you greetings from London. Wow, what an international rally. I wonder what's up. Uh-oh. A kidnapping? 
I'll go get my case book. I wonder, how did you most find out about a kidnapping in New York? Two days ago, this weird guy dropped an envelope. Phew, I got all the information down. Kidnapping? This is really scary. Stick around! It's the fun! It's just begun on the Ghost Rider! Three Pete Special! I just love it when Ghost Rider writes to you guys on computer. Oh, and the message is out something scary like kidnapping. It's great to have a friend like Ghost Rider around. Yeah, and speaking of friends, the Ghost Rider team has a new one. Her name is Melissa Gonzalez, and she's our new Gabby. <laughs> In fact, Melissa gave me an exclusive interview during a break on the set, and here's what she had to say. So, Melissa, did you watch Ghost Rider before you auditioned for the part? Yes, I did. Yeah, what did you think of the show when you watched it at home? Um, I liked it. It was interesting. And I, I found it interesting that they solved mysteries around the neighborhood. You know, kids don't usually do that. What were the auditions like? I understand that hundreds of girls auditioned all across the country for this part. That must have been pretty nerve-wracking. It was. It was. It was very nerve-wracking. I couldn't sleep comfortably at night, and I thought about it all the time. I couldn't get it off my mind, and I was, like, always in school. Oh, God, I hope I got the part. And when you got to the auditions, did you check out the other people and think, oh, no, I'm never going to... Yeah, I'm exactly. never going to get it? I'm like, oh, God, look at all these girls here. <laughs> How did you get enough confidence uh, before the audition to go out there and give your best shot? That's just the way I am. I just go out there and try and do my best. I try as hard as I can. How did you hear you got the part, and did you flip out? Well, I was at school, and my dad picked me up. It was the Friday before our last day of school. And... Um, he, I was telling him about the good news about me graduating and stuff, because I graduated from eighth grade. And he goes, well, I have good news for you. I'm like, what, what, what? He goes, you got the part. I'm like, what? I couldn't, I was screaming in the car, and I said, stop the car right now. And I jumped out of the car, and I told my, my five best friends, and they were, like, jumping around, picking me up, and they told everybody, like, 58 more kids knew, and, and they all, I want to try to get from this, I'm like, okay, now I know everybody, huh? Everybody wants to be my best friend. So news travels fast. What do right. your friends think about the fact that now you're this TV star? Well, they're really happy for me. They're really glad for me, and um, they, they always tell me, stay in touch, and don't forget me, don't forget the little people over here. I'm like, <laughs> I won't forget you guys, don't worry about it. You had some acting experience, right? You were involved with acting in, in Chicago, mm -hmm. where you're from? Um, with the Happiness Club. What is the Happiness Club? It's a group of kids of every nationality, and we tour around Chicago um, teaching kids values at schools, parks, and we just, you know, sing songs, dance, and we act. And bring a lot of happiness to other mm -hmm. people's right. lives. We tell them the messages like, stay out of games, um, don't do drugs, stay in school, do our singing and dancing and acting. What's the hardest part, Melissa, about your new job? What's the hardest thing you have to um, do? Well, my re the rest of my family's in Chicago. That's the hardest part, not seeing my father, because he's still in Chicago, and um, not being with the rest of my family, and uh, waking up every morning and coming to work. Good. Wiggle and Eric actually holds up the beard to his face to yeah. say your line yeah. about the disguise. Is it hard to memorize all the lines? Well, it's beginning to be easier for me, but in the beginning it was like uh, a little hard, because I wasn't used to it. Everything was live, and it's just sort of hard. Scary. I know you miss your dad, but how do you like New York? I love New York. It reminds me a lot of, of home in Chicago, cause it's, but bigger. <laughs> and I still talk on the phone with my family. Now, in the show, you play Alex's little sister. Do you have any brothers or sisters in real life? I have a baby brother. He's five years old. Miguel. <laughs> so you're not a little sister, you're a big sister. Right, I'm a big sister. Is it hard to, to shift gears and play a little sister? No, because I have a lot of cousins who are older than me. I'm, I, I'm fifth one.
so I, I like look up to them as my older brothers and older sisters. Oh, that's nice. Well, we wanted to get the real scoop on you, Melissa. So we asked your TV brother, Alex, who's played by David Lopez. His TV little sister. Let's hear what he had to say. Uh, let's see, Melissa, she's fun, she has a lot of energy. Sometimes she wears it down, I have to admit, she's nice. Uh, she reminds me a lot of my real sister at home. We do get along very well. And uh, overall, she's just a fun person. I'm glad she's here. It's a good thing Melissa has a sense of humor, because the first story she did involved a very beautiful, very big, endangered bird. A bird! Hi, birdie! What are you doing here, huh? Aw, you poor bird! Why would anybody leave a sweet bird like you in a dumpster? Then she got slimed by a gross purple monster. She did just fine. Once again, Katie Kirk gets the scary scoop. Yes! You know what really <laughs> impressed me? She's only 13, but she's such a professional. Well, Katie, <laughs> I'm not bragging or anything, but uh, we're all professionals here. Yeah, just watch out, professional. It's time for the ghost sider blooper reel. Oh, sorry. Can I 
kisses too much. He kisses too much, okay. What's open? It's trunk. I can get the jacket back. that used to be in the old walk something hotel say a towel only used to be in the hotel that makes no sense <laughs> she must be in like a storage closet or room's room or something for <laughs> <laughs> a broom room <laughs> i'm late for dawn i'm 11 years old <laughs> on the Today Show, I was interviewing Bobcat Goldthwait. He's a comedian, and I really didn't read my research, so I didn't know that much about him, but I asked him a question, and he started screaming, and I kept asking him, <laughs> why are you yelling? Oh, let me figure it out, and that's his whole shtick. I mean, I look so stupid, it was scary. <laughs> well, speaking of scary, check this next clip. Did you say scary? <laughs> Good to show his throat today. Fella won't have to keep this up. When we get the money. I will say one thing. Sophie Madison's a real groovy girl. Yeah. And so was I. So what would I expect? I think you'd rather Terry and me are by a whole island with our money. It's not about money. Well, not just money. What I want is revenge. Glorious stole my life. It's time I got the recognition I deserve. I can see the headline now. Wise Rita outwits them all. Wait a minute. I've seen those kids before. Look out! Go! That's the kid I saw in the square yesterday. When I came off my bike. And that girl shouted at me. I bet they picked up the envelope. You don't know that. What would they want with an envelope? Come on, Becky. Jamal. Tell me. All right. Shame when we get home. I'm gonna tail them. Why? They're gonna spoil our plans. I can feel it in my bones. Don't be ridiculous.
guy really gives me the creep. Mm, me too. I'll peep it on that one. You know what? I'm going to be glued to my TV set watching the latest Ghost Rider mysteries. Yeah, and we hope you will be too. Thanks for watching. Hey, wait a minute. You guys promised you'd show me the Ghost Rider handshake. All right, all on the count of three. One, two, two three. Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike, the company that believes every kid has the right to play. Ghost Rider is brought to you by public television viewers like you, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, the John D. and Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation, the Pew Charitable Trust, and the U.S. Department of Education. That was so crisp. Hey, what? Hey, Gumshoes, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? It's coming up next here on PTV2. Ghost Rider is now available on home video at stores across the country. Read more about Ghost Rider and the Ghost Rider team in these Bantam books. Ghost Rider. Watch it. Solve it. Tell a friend. Tell two friends. Ghost Rider's back, and you haven't seen anything yet. So come on. Join the Ghost Rider team for totally awesome, totally new mysteries. Watch it. Solve it. Tell a friend. Ghost Rider's back on this channel. I'm John Goodman. Do the word thing with Ghost Rider right here on this channel. Remember this? Well, you haven't seen anything yet. Guess who's back with totally awesome, totally new mysteries to solve? You got it, the Ghost Rider team. And they need your help. Listen up, team. Get on the right track. This is me, Stupid Solve. Ghost Rider is back. All new mysteries is what you get. And one thing sure you haven't seen anything yet. Ghost Rider does the word thing with you. But different this time of the totally new. There's no telling what clues he'll send, so watch it. Solve it, yo! Tell a friend.